And now Colorado State getting that football to their H-back Joel Dreesen very close to a first down. Here's the measurement. Inches. Third and inches. And this is where we might see that great underrated running back in Cecil Sapp. That's right. He hasn't touched the ball yet, but Steve, you you said it. I mean, they get get the ball in great field position, starting the game, first possession. You like that, especially as a visiting team coming in. You keep the crowd out of it. Look at Sonny Lubick. In nine years, Sonny has achieved more than any other coach in school's history. Six bowl invitations in nine years, more than any other Mountain West Conference school. It is third down and one. Cecil Sapp is the lone running back. He's 6'1", 225. And he has already run for over 250 yards this year in just the season's first two games. They will give it to Sapp. He lunges forward for the first down to the 30-yard line. Well, let's tell you about the lineups for Colorado State. The key is Sarah starting lineups. There's Bradley Van Pelt, the kid from Santa Barbara, California, went to Michigan State and now at Colorado State. Saps the great runner, 258 yards rushing this year. Watch for Joel Dreesen as well. They will miss left tackle Aaron Green out with a broken leg. So watch for Mike Breisel, the left tackle. Here is Cecil Sapp, about a four-yard gain to the 26-yard line. The mark will be important, maybe only three yards in the play. Defensively for UCLA, a strong front line anchored by Rodney Leslie, who is an All-American candidate. Dave Ball is one of those defensive ends, Rusty Williams the other. Marcus Reese replaces the All-American Robert Thomas in the middle. And the defensive backs, how about Ricky Manning, the All-American, Matt Ware going from corner to free safety. They expect big things from both Ben Emanuel and Joe Hunter. There's where the sophomore, he was a true freshman All-American team last year. Dreesen lunging forward, but he'll still need about two and a half yards for the first down. The tackle was made by Matt Ware. Steve, that's a nice job. Matt Ware, he comes out of that free safety position right there. He's just going to track Dreesen. He gets a little behind him, but you see just his catch-up speed right there and tackling ability. Phil Snow, his defense requires two guys to come up and make huge plays. One is Matt Ware. Last year he was a corner, five interceptions, tied for third in the Pac-10. And the other guy, the strong safety, Ben Emanuel, spent a lot of time at strong safety. And now another third and one for Colorado State. Sapp is the lone tailback. Dreesen goes in motion. And they will run the option that way. And there's Van Pelt. And he is a load. And he is an unusual quarterback because he's not calm like a Joe Montana or a <laughs> Phil Sims. This guy is like Willie Lanier, yeah. a middle linebacker playing quarterback. Number, Look at the eyes. What number was Willie Lanier? 63. I knew you'd remember that, too. I like Bradley Van Pelt. That's a great call, though, right there, Steve. Option is the great neutralizer against a tough run defense. All of a sudden, you put the ball in the quarterback's hands. They got to come up, make a play. And then Van Pelt, runner pass or pitch. Nice job running that time. And this is a very aggressive UCLA defense. And there goes Sapp up the middle. Sapp was a real star last week. Man, he's a load. Look at that. I mean, here's a guy who did not play last year due to a benign tumor in his right heel that required surgery, sat out all last year, and Sapp is back and completely healthy. You know, Cecil Sapp, his, his playmaking ability, number one, huge. And, and before the game, the pro scouts are already down on the field asking the coaches about him, talking to him about, asking me about him. I said, hey, I saw the guy in practice. He's a load. Second and six from just outside the 15. Sap. Good defensive play by UCLA. Leading the way was Marcus Reese. He's a guy making a rare start only because he had to play behind Robert Thomas. Well, here's a guy who's replacing the Pac-10 Defensive Player of the Year, top draft pick of the St. Louis Rams, Reese. Bam! Comes in from that middle linebacker spot right there. That's a good matchup right there. 44 on 32. See a lot of that tonight. And Reese, this is his first career start, Steve. This guy's played a ton of games, 34 games at UCLA. Great special teams performer. Right now, Colorado State with another big third down. Third and five. Van Pelt is 
sacked at the 19-yard line. Steve Morgan. Great pressure that time. Reese comes on the blitz. He almost nails Van Pelt. Then the big tackle from Texas, Steve Morgan, helps out. Watch, they just come up. A-gap blitz right there. Big number 92 wrestles Van Pelt to the ground, and he'll bring on the kicker. Now Babcock from 35 yards out. It is good, and Colorado State takes the early lead. Babcock 0-2 last week, 5-5 five for five in that season open. He's back. Brought to you by Kyocera, one company, countless solutions. By Nissan and your Nissan dealer. By Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. By Zenith, digitize the experience. And by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. We're in Pasadena, California, just northeast of downtown Los Angeles, and Bradley Van Pelt just took his team on an opening field goal drive with a 3 0 lead. And the return is Ricky Manning, and Manning is out across the 20 yard line near the 22. Foley on the tackle. 18 yards on the return. UCLA will start with their quarterback, who is fifth all time in career yards with Bruins. Corey Paws. He's chasing my partner, Tom Ramsey, who's number two. The only man in front of Tom is Cade McNown. And he'll catch, he'll catch Ramsey, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy game. If he stays healthy, and that is key. They'll go with twin backs, Manuel White and J.D. Crowe. They're going to give it to Manuel White. This guy's a low, but he is stuffed at that line of scrimmage. A short gain of maybe two yards, second and eight. And here's the key of Sarah. UCLA lineups, Corey Paws, 1,740 yards passing last year, but you see the touchdowns, interceptions, not strong. Akeel Harris is the running back. He ran for 375. He has to replace the All-American, Deshaun Foster. The line, safer, Bolander, outstanding tackles. This is a very good offensive line for the strength of the football team. Now Paws, the 6-2 senior from New Lenox, Illinois. through the air, covered the passes early, and it's Craig Bragg on the catch, and both UCLA and Colorado State figured the room would start this way, comfortably. Defensively, on the line, Peter Hogan, Andre Somersell are very strong defensive ends, and the linebackers, all excellent. Heels, Wood, and Pauley can tackle. Their safeties are David Vickers and Landon Jones, big hitters against the run. Dexter Wynn is one of the best cover corners in the nation. There is David Vickers, 13 tackles last week against Colorado, and they will run to the right side. And it is Tyler Ebell. He is the redshirt freshman who's listed fourth on their depth chart, but this is a guy with tremendous speed. Tremendous speed, and he put up tremendous numbers in high school, Steve. His senior year of high school up in Ventura, California, 64 touchdowns, over four, almost 4,500 yards rushing. I mean, huge numbers. It's not enough. It's not enough. Never enough. <laughs> you know, I, I think we, we went through Colorado State's line a, a moment ago. I think their linebackers may be the best part of that defense. Larry, talking to Larry Kerr, their defensive coordinator last night, but he, he loves all of them. Appears to be a first down for UCLA. Sure enough, Gordon Reese, the referee, waving it. But I like the linebackers led by Drew Wood in the middle, the middle linebacker. Healed, you mentioned 44. Eric Pauley, he's had, he's had double-digit tackle games, huge games. Ten tackles a week ago versus CU. Ten times in the last 13 games he's been in double digits for tackles. I mean, that's, that's getting to the ball now. And they stopped Colorado and beat a top-ranked team last week, 19-14. Paws got the first down. Now he'll get the football to Akeel Harris, and Akeel is past the 35-yard line near the 36. Tackle made by middle linebacker Drew Wood. And Doug Heal. 
Watch, watch what happens on the interior. They're going to bring the young tight end right here, Mercedes Lewis, number 19, off the edge. He cracks down on Pauly, the linebacker, but that's just good interior play right there. Heeled there to finally bring down the ball carrier. Pause on second and six. They'll spread him out, go with one running back, but they'll give it to a kid who is through. And Harris has the first down past the 45-yard line. Pauly on the tackle. UCLA is fortunate in this respect, Steve. They have a, they have four guys they can hand the ball to. Akeel Harris, according to Kelly Skipper, the running backs coach, he's the slasher out of the guys, but he looks like a brute right here. He keeps his pad level down. A couple guys taking him down right here. Big guys up front. Watch the big guy safer. He takes Pete Hogan out of the picture with a big left hook, and then it's just guard pull. Right up the gut, power running by UCLA. And UCLA is going to stay on the ground. It's Manuel White, and White slugs his way to midfield. And I believe that Bob Toledo is saying the strength of our football team is our offensive line. Let's give them confidence. Let's go out there and hammer Colorado State. Well, and, and you know, that's why I like talking about the linemen up front on the show. Mike Safer, big number 65. Now, his dad played on John Wooden's 67 championship team. So that's a little good tradition right there. Bob Toledo digging in the... The play script there. He's back to calling plays, and he likes it. Harris and White, the twin backs. Pause will throw. Curl has been high on just about every single one of his passes, and he really laid Dubrovic out there. Might be coming back saying, Corey, keep the ball down. You're going to kill me. John Dubrovic, the only UCLA player from the state of Colorado, and I... Steve, I was watching Corey Paws in warm-ups. He had balls sailing high to everybody. And I think part of it is you come out, first game jitters. You're not following through the way you should. You have some happy feet. Right now, Corey Paws, he's got to tighten his chin strap a little bit. Third and five, you've got to get some first downs. Their first dri drive was stymied by a tough Colorado State defense. But you you got to get some first downs here and keep the chains moving. He is one for four for only six yards, and it was a short pass, comfortable pass to the left side. Corey rolling away from the pressure, and down he goes to the 48-yard line. Drew Wood, the middle linebacker. Love the play that time. Love the defensive call by Larry Kerr, sending Drew Wood right up the middle. A gap. No one even, no one even gets a hat on him. And Poss is not the most nimble of foot. Drew Wood right there, a great two-sport athlete. Buena Vista High in Buena Vista, Colorado. And his father was a his basketball coach, so you know he got grinded in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, here is Pixie to punt it to Dexter Winner standing at his 10. A chance for a return here, but now they'll let it go. Yeah, what a hike. It was all the way five yards deep into the end zone. 52 yards in the punt. Colorado State will have it at their own 20 when we come back. America is traveling with Michelin. Right now, buy any four Michelin tires and get a Samsonite wheeled carry-on upright and the new Michelin North America Road Atlas free, a value of over $120. Just call 1-888-MICHELIN for your nearest participating Michelin dealer and get rolling. But hurry, this offer ends October 5th. Get it nice and clean. I think we're going to finish the roof today. AMPM is proud to be the official convenience store of the Pac-10 Conference. What's that? The fence. Hey, guys. Let's not forget, man, this is the NFL show. And the NFL is hardcore, so we must stay hardcore. That's right. You know, Tommy, you've been out here the longest. you got to make sure that, uh, you know, me and Michael don't get caught up in that Hollywood stuff, you know? You can count on me. But you guys fall off the wayside, just let me know, man. Mike, I think I'm going to get the uh, either the polish or the, or the clear. No, no, just, just get a nice buff. Hey, guys, how about a bikini wax next? <laughs> 
The NFL Show with Irvin, Syracuse, and Davidson premieres tonight and tomorrow. The best damn sports show, period. Hollywood's biggest stars, sports' greatest athletes, and the sexiest babes. Weeknights at 8 and 11. Colorado State with a 3-0 lead over UCLA. This fall, get your NFL fix a day earlier with the most outrageous, unpredictable NFL free game show you have ever seen. Introducing the NFL show on Fox Sports Net with Michael Irvin, Tony Siragusa, and comedian Tommy Davidson. Free game shows may never be the same, so start your NFL weekend the night before kickoff with the NFL show presented by the U.S. Postal Service premiering next right here on Fox Sports Net. Bradley Van Pelt, the quarterback, going underneath to Eric Hill as wide receiver for a first down out near the 35-40 yard line. And Eric Hill, the junior from Denver, Colorado, with just his second catch this year. Oh, and Steve, I'll tell you, it's a little nice underneath crossing route. You're going to see a block coming up, though. Watch up top of the screen. Joey Capari, oh, he just lays out Ben Emanuel. That's just great football. Watch it coming. Just a ballistic missile in the side of your screen there. That's Kapari giving up his body for his teammate. That's good football. His coach, Sonny Lubick, loves him. He said that's what he is. Not that fast, but he's a football player. Now it is Van Pelt going deep, and Kapari almost came up with a remarkable catch, similar to one he brought down against Colorado that they ruled out of bounds. but. Replay showed Kupari was in. You know, and I'm, I'm on the field before the game. I'm talking to Matt Lubick, Sonny Lubick's son. Oh, what a great shot that was. But I'm asking Matt Lubick, who coaches receivers, what about Kupari? What about all the receivers? None of them have ever had a 100-yard game. He goes, well, Tom, one of the reasons is this guy right here, Pete Reefstock, Reefstock standing on the field. He's with the Kansas City Chiefs now on, injured, on the injured list. But... He was the guy they went to. He was the go-to guy a year ago, but a lot of other guys didn't see enough of the ball. But this offense kind of share and share alike. They don't put up huge numbers. No one puts up extremely huge, except for that guy, 32. He's going to get some huge numbers tonight. Well, why not give it to him 25, 30 times? I mean, he had 178 yards against last week against Colorado on 25 carries. No, I'm sorry, against Virginia, then added 80 on 22 carries last week against Colorado. He has 13 yards on five carries in this game, and now a third and nine for Bradley Van Pelt. Incomplete and almost intercepted by Marcus Reese, who would have picked it on the tip, but Emmanuel is there at first, and now Colorado State will be forced to punt. And a tough situation for Colorado State. Dreesen gets double teamed by Reese and Ben Emanuel. Ben Emanuel right there swatting the ball away. And, you know, that's one of the things UCLA's defense wants to do to Colorado State. Make them go long distance on third down. That was a tough third and nine for Colorado State. Now Joey Huber, yes, he does punt the football a lot near mile high altitude, averaging 42 and a half here at sea level. Let's see how he does as he's punting it to. Tyler Ebell, tremendous speed. Ebell's gonna run with it to the 20 yard line. Timeout on the field. It's Colorado State 3 0. Bradley Van Pelt. It is Sap. He's going to throw. Joel Dreesen, touchdown! There is a flag down. Oh, that's a, that's a wily old co veteran coach move right there. See what the flag is, but Sonny Lubick, what a great call this is. Hand it to Cecil Sapp, he lowers his shoulders a little bit, then he comes up throwing. Oh! The touchdown is good. Roughing the passer on a defense. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Boy, you talk about someone's stock going up. Cecil Sapp, this guy, he is the real deal now because everyone in the building, you ask me what play do I call? Run Sapp, right? Run Sapp defense. 
11 guys, okay. 32 is going to run the ball. Watch him. Oh, heck, he's throwing. <laughs> and Dreesen was well covered. That's a good throw. It's a better throw than Corey Paws has delivered to his UCLA teammates. The point after touchdown is good. And just like last week when they upset Colorado, Colorado State is up on UCLA on Saps toss to Joel Dreesen. The Sonata from Hyundai. Redesigned with V6 power, room for five, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan. Daddy, Daddy, look what I got at school today. That's great. Gonna put on your new car, Daddy? Let's go put it on Mommy's car. The Sonata from Hyundai. There's not another thing it needs. Yeah, what? Look, I can't spend my whole day telling you how to do your job. Let's go over this one more time. Try new caramel flavored Dulce de Leche milk only from Shamrock Farms. Americans bust their humps 24-7. Time to trash that schedule. Just push me! And get out there with 0% financing for 60 months or up to $3,000 cash allowance on the new 2002 Dodge that grabs you. Plus, get our 7-year or 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Ford, Chevy, Toyota, and Honda don't match it. Just push me! Grab life by the horns and grab something that works for you. 0% financing or cash allowance and our 770 protection. You're watching Fox Sports Net. Usually it is the quarterback that gets on the phone and talks to the offensive coordinator. Now it's the running back because he's throwing the touchdown. And Steve, Colorado State going the short field. You're going to see Dreesen, 81's lined up right over here. He's just going to run a little in and out, just kind of a little corner. He's going to pop in your screen, but Cecil Sapp is the guy who sells it right there, Steve. He kind of lowered his shoulder a little bit. All of a sudden, he comes up throwing, puts it right over the defender, Ben Emanuel, and six points, ramps. And now the Bruins won't have a chance to return. What a kick by Babcock, a good 10 yards out of the end zone. So UCLA will start their field position from the 20. And Sonny Lubick, you talk about fast starts. 15 and 0 when scoring first over the last three seasons, and they are up 10 nothing on the Bruins. That, that's kind of a hard stat to argue. I mean, all of a sudden they get out, they jump out front. We, you and I talked about it at the break. Hey, this is this is impressive because you go back, they played two games, and you know what? You get that game speed under your belt. You just get the game management element under your belt, substitutions and everything else, game planning, and it's tough for a team to come out and play their first game. In essence, UCLA had the longest offseason of anybody because this is their first game and we're playing tonight. Here is September 7th, Corey Paws going deep, wide over, Tab Perry incomplete. The second drop by Perry, he really had to extend himself there, but he had one that was catchable earlier, and now Paws laid it in his hands, and Corey has started one for six. Steve, they, they know Dexter Wynn loves to bite on moves right there. They give him a little out and up, but if you're Corey Paws, you know, I think you got to just put it right on his number one. I mean, you got to sit him down. Don't let the safety get involved with the throw up the field. Sit him down on the sideline and drill it 20 yards and get a completion. If you're the quarterback, should he have caught the football? Rams, you were QB. Yeah. Ah, there you well, go. But, but the throw's got to help him out. The throw's got to be a better throw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Manuel White on the catch, a short gain. It'll be third down and about five yards to go. But if you are going to get grass stains on your on your, on your your pants, come down. <laughs> exactly. It makes it look real good for TV. That's why. That's the only reason. And our Fox Sports Net <laughs> cameras will all over it. All right, third and three for UCLA. If you want to get on the board now in the first half, you better convert this. And I think watch for number 18, Seidman, the tight end. And they did release him. They looped the football, and it is caught for the first down at midfield. 
And Rams, just like you said, they look for that big tight end, Mike Seidman, who has had a great camp this year. Well, Steve, the only reason I said go to Seidman, they haven't thrown to Seidman yet, and they want to throw to Seidman. So here you go. Seidman's right here. He's going to just come down, run a little corner, and what ends up, Post does a nice job. They move the pocket. Okay, Seidman gets a free release. He gets up the field. That's a big-bodied guy, 6'5", 250-pounder. Post puts it right on the money, right in front of the safeties. You got a nice gain in third and three. That's a nice call, but better execution of the throw and catch. This is a big drive for UCLA. They want to get back in the game right here. And here goes Junior Taylor on the reverse. He has great speed. Taylor past the 30. Junior Taylor to the 15. Touchdown, Junior Taylor. That's a wild play. <laughs> wow. Man, oh man, UCLA is really good at this. Show motion this way, then come back the other way. And Corey Poss, who's out in front, gets a block on David Vickers, one of their best tacklers. Wasn't much of a block, but just enough to get in the way. And then Junior Taylor, look out. Come on, cut it back across the field. Take it to the house 49 yards later. Nice, nice run. How about that? Junior Taylor, first time he runs the football as a collegiate. He's a true freshman. Wow. He bolts 49 yards for a touchdown. I don't think that'll be his last carry. Experience the performance today at your local Acura dealer. And by Kyocera, one company, countless solutions. We're at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. UCLA with a lightning bolt, a 49-yard touchdown run by Junior Taylor. We talked with Larry Kerr, the Colorado State defensive coordinator. He said tackling would be key in this game. Tackling's key, fundamentals are key, but Steve, when you're facing true freshmen, you don't know what to look for and scout on film because no one would have ever thunk it. Junior Taylor, look at his speed, big-bodied guy too, 6'2", 200-pound Mesa, Arizona freshman and I'll tell you what that is bringing it to the house that that's great stride length by him here's the Nissan scoring drive UCLA four plays 80 yards two big plays the big conversion third and three pass to Seidman allowed that to happen and now the quarterback Bradley Van Pelt looking right and completes it to his tight end Matt Bart's only his second catch this year and a lot of you might be saying tackling well absolutely right but Larry Kerr said we didn't tackle very well against Virginia we did very well against Colorado and that is discipline well and the thing is that first game out of the blocks it, it's so hard it, you know and it was tough for them they played in a very humid uh, Virginia stadium and, and the Cavaliers Al Groh took them right down to the, to the last play of the game and who stepped up David Vickers he stepped up in both games on defense and saved the day Hey, Thomas Jefferson led this country very well from the state of Virginia, and he never complained about the humidity. <laughs> Here goes Cecil Sapp, who didn't complain about the humidity growing up in Florida either. That's what I like about you. You know, part sportscaster, part historian. <laughs> I, I, I love it. You always learn something when you're working with Ramsey Biziak. Not much from me, but a lot from you. Next week, we'll take you inside Monticello, where Thomas Jefferson grew up. <laughs> well, he actually designed it. It is first down for Colorado State at their own 34-yard line. Bradley Van Pelt, the transfer from Michigan State. His father is here tonight, the former All-American linebacker for the Spartans. And a kid who plays like a linebacker at QB misses his target. It would have been a first down, but Bradley was hit trying to find his tight end, Matt Bartz. Good coverage by Matt Ware. And, and Brandon Chiller, number 11, sent some chills down Bradley and Van Pelt's spine. I'll tell you, Chiller came off the edge from his Sam linebacker position, Steve, and just really, really belted Brad Van Pelt. There's a look at Chiller. He's not a small guy, 6'3", 235 pounder, 42 tackles, very experienced player. And well very as athletic linebackers at UCLA. All those linebackers can run. And so can this quarterback, Bradley Van Pelt. This time he is mugged at the 40-yard line. Oh, a tough hit by Marcus Reese and Ricky Manning both 
Let's now go down to the sideline and John Jackson. Yeah, thanks, Steve. Well, Colorado State, although they're 2-0, it hasn't come without injuries. As you can see behind me, Eric Pears, the offensive tackle, 6-8-3-10, sprained an ankle last week. He's out of the game tonight. He's on an as-needed basis. He tried that ankle. He can go. But this comes after Aaron Green, the other starting offensive tackle, was also out for the season with a broken leg. So watch out for Pears. He's huge at 3-10. If Sapp needs some holes, they'll bring Pears in. See? Zeke Hacker right now, that's starting right tackle. Now third and nine, John. Van Pelt to the air, completes it, and it's Kupari with a juggling catch, but he'll come up short of the first down. Tackle made by strong safety, Ben Emanuel. And Steve, that's a great tackle by Emanuel. I, I have to fault, Kupari looks like he got drilled pretty good coming off the field. He's holding his, his arm a little bit. Talking to one of the trainers, but Kapari didn't get the necessary yardage for the first down. And, you know, when you look at it from, from our perspective or from a fan's perspective, or more importantly, from the coach's perspective, you get the necessary yardage you need on third and nine. Well, Kapari is being looked at by the training staff, and he is their best wide receiver. Tyler Ebell back. No, 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 no. Ebell lets it go. It almost hit him. And now a great punt by Colorado State, and they have done a wonderful job on special teams all evening long. 56 yards on the punt by Joey Huber, who's a finalist for the Ray Guy Award, going to the top punter. It's back and better than ever. The undisputed champion of pregame shows returns as J.B., Terry, and Howie kick off another NFL season. Joining them in one week will be their old friend Jimmy Johnson. He's won titles in both college and the pros. Now Jimmy will break down what Steve Spurrier has done to do to win in Washington. Fox NFL Sunday returns tomorrow only on Fox. Well, Steve Spurrier had to be disappointed today. He watched his old team, Florida, the number 16 in the nation, lose badly to Miami, 41-16. to Now UCLA with the football, running it to the four. You, you don't think they miss Spurrier, do you? You know what? <laughs> I think there'll be a lot of talk in the newspaper tomorrow that Steve Furrier never would have let that happen. And that's not fair of because course. Miami's a great team. And they had some breaks today. Ken Dorsey is an outstanding quarterback, and he might take the Heisman lead. Well, I guarantee you, Rex Grossman, he, he took more shots today in today's game against the Hurricanes than he did all of last season. He got a hammer. Meantime, number two, Oklahoma beat Alabama in a whale of a game, 37-29 or 27. Now Corey Paws on second down. And timeout has been called by Colorado State. It is the first timeout used in this football game by the Rams. And Steve, at Colorado State right there, a wise timeout. They see a formation and a personnel group that they're haven't seen and prepared for. All of a sudden, Larry Kerr called the time. Let's discuss it. You got UCLA pinned down deep. Make the best use of those timeouts. I think right there, Larry Kerr, there he is right in the thick of those things. Good paster and Wood, Pauly, talking to his group right there. Sonny Lubick right in there as well. But Sonny's the key. I mean, in the 100 years of Colorado State football program, prior to Sonny Lubick's arrival, the Rams won or shared only nine conference titles. Lubick has run off five titles in the last eight years, second in the NCAA next to Florida State. That's saying a lot. You know, that's huge. Yeah, when you look at what they've done in, in terms of total victories since 93, I mean, they, you know, the, you, you're talking Nebraska, Florida State, Tennessee, Kansas State, Michigan, Florida, Miami, Oregon. Fort Collins loves them. He hey, could run for mayor. Well, Jeff Dallas. Hathaway, the yep. athletic director of CSU, said, hey, he's Sonny's going to sign an extension. He said he can coach as long as he wants. He loves it. He's a good old boy. Here is Akeel Harris at running back behind Corey Paul. Second and seven. Paul's with time. Again, all of his passes have been way off the mark and all too high. But but right there, that's disciplined football by Colorado State again, Steve. And Corey Paws wants to fire it out in the flat to, to side men in the corner. Rhett Nelson, he's just sitting out there waiting for him to make a mistake. Rhett Nelson, great player from Heritage High in Littleton, Colorado, really has taken to Larry Kerr's defense. And you got two good corners. Dexter Wynn on one side, Rhett Nelson on the other side. They're causing some problems for some of the UCLA wideouts. 
And the wideouts will be Craig Bragg and Tab Perry. Perry goes in motion. Pause rolling his way, looking for Perry, who was open for a moment. Now Corey flips it out. And it's intercepted. Dexter Wynn. A mistake by the senior from New Lenox, Illinois. That is trying to do too much with the football. And Bob Toledo, former quarterback himself, he said, hey, come on over here and let's talk. Because the reality is this, Steve. You're, you're five yards deep in the end zone. Your guy's double covered. What, what are you trying to throw it out of bounds? I mean, right here, look at the pressure once again. The corners do a great job. Wynn and Nelson take their guys away, and then Posh just gets hammered. He's over there, Bob, saying, hey, look, don't, don't hurt us because you got a great punter, okay? He can get you out of a, uh, out of a predicament. He can, he can drive the ball deep. This is Cecil Sapp still on his feet, but down at the 23-yard line. But how many times did you say special teams will win this game? Special teams? Uh, set up their first touchdown, the long punt returned by Dexter Wynn. Special teams pin UCLA back deep. They make a mistake. And this is what's so impressive about Colorado State. They play their regulars. They play their starters on special teams. Nine takeaways this year, only three giveaways. And look at the historical side. Plus 23. 53. Plus 53. I, yeah, I'm sorry. 53. I don't know what I was thinking about 23. 53 turnover margin. As with Lubick as the head coach. It's, it's a huge differential. They are now plus six this year alone and only two plus games. What I'm saying, Steve, they play their regulars on special teams, and some of these players play 90 snaps a game. I mean, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of football, but you get such great production from some of these guys. Take a look at some of the pit, what's happening. I mean, drive blocking right there, just zone blocking. And Sapp, what I like about him, even though he gets hit in the back, sometimes he, he's lunging ahead. He's trying to get some extra yards. Right now, you don't you want to be careful with the football. Third and 10, Colorado State. They've made 50% of the third down conversions. Three of six, Kupari Pittman back in the game. Van Pelt underneath. The catch is made by Chris Pittman, and Pittman comes up shy of the first down. Well, one thing Colorado State doesn't do in their passing game is stretch vertically. But what they do do effectively is run some crossing crossing routes and underneath routes. And they did right there, nice ball security, move the ball up the field some, give your kicker a little, move him in a little closer range. Jeff Babcock, first field goal attempt tonight, 35 yarder, and he kicked five field goals against the University of Virginia out of the gate including a 46-yard field with 407 left that broke uh -huh. that 29-29 time. So he's clutch, and he hammers this one dead, solid, perfect. Colorado State, 13-7 over UCLA. America trusts America online to make everything easy. It's just real simple to keep in touch with AOL. Oh, I love hearing you've got mail. Instant messages are so much fun. And now AOL makes it easier to get health information with WebMD. I discovered WebMD. WebMD is America's leading source of health information online. Communities on everything from diabetes to weight loss. Love the chat room. A uh, site that I trust. AOL has got it all. Now's the perfect time to experience America online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE. I told you this thing was awesome. The 60-inch plasma HD TV, four inches deep from Zenith. Introducing Mach 3 Turbo. Total comfort shaving down or up. An anti-friction coating on the blades, plus a strip with more lubrication. So even against the grain, there's less irritation. Mach 3 Turbo, new from Gillette. Colorado State with a six-point lead over UCLA. Babcock ready to kick off deep to Tab Perry and Theo Harris. Perry at the goal line. With a special teams play, have done it again. They forced the fumble. UCLA will get it back, but they stuffed him at the 20, hammered him, made Tab lose the football. And this is Tab Perry, who did not respect 
Colorado State coming into this game. Yeah, good point, Steve. He said, hey, we're UCLA. We're supposed to win games like this. Well, you, you think Larry Kerr had that up on the bulletin board and Sonny Lubick had it up on the bulletin board? You're darn right, but right now, UCLA coming into the ball game, what'd they tell us? Ball security, that's what they wanted. Here's what he said before they beat Colorado. I'm just not impressed with Colorado State. I can't give them respect until they've earned it. I don't think they can handle our weapons. Well, Tad Perry, they're knocking your weapons around right now. And here goes Akeel Harris out past the 20 to the 22-yard line, tackled by Dexter Wynn. But, Rams, I just don't know why you don't let sleeping dogs lie. Not that Colorado State's a sleeping dog, but why get their attention by saying some DB is going to take his head off just because of what Tab said? My, my guess is, uh, and I know Tab Perry is probably 19 years old, and yeah. he, he hasn't had to coach a football game. There you go. So he's played in a lot of games. He just hasn't had to coach, and he's a great player, too. Tab Perry will be a wonderful player. Last year, 21 catches, 416 yards, but obviously not the most quotable Bruin. Pause. Gets it to Seidman. Seidman gets the first down. They've gone to him a couple of times already, and both have resulted in first downs for the Bruins. That's right. Under Seidman, see, first down. Okay, easy. Corey Paws, number 10. When you look to number 18, last season, 12 catches, 250 yards. Far and away, underutilized last year. They knew he was underutilized. And Bob Toledo, he told me today, we're sitting, we're sitting uh, poolside, and he was telling me, hey, Tom, let me tell you something. This guy, Seidman, he is he is a great player. And tight end got, got, kind of got out of our offense a little bit last year. We're bringing him back in. Seidman had a great camp and picking up right where he left off. Two catches for 35 yards. Now Harris, where the defense stretches him out and about four ram gobble him up. Finally making the tackle, Benny Mastropalo. He's a walk-on from Fullerton Junior College. And there are a lot of Rams from the Golden State 30 on their football team. Yeah, there really are, Steve. And, and what, you know, because we asked Sonny Lubick, hey, how do you fire up your guys? I mean, you've had two wins. You had a big win against your rival CU. I mean, really, I mean, CU came in rated sixth in the country. CSU handed it to him. I mean, got after him. And you come out here, you, you might you expect a little bit of a letdown, but not the case. Akeel Harris sneaking inside, crosses the 40 to the 43-yard line, and he will get the first down for the Bruins. So this is a nice drive, set up first by Seidman. Now the running of Akeel Harris as UCLA trying to take their first lead. They'll need a touchdown to get it. And it gets started up front. Look at the big tackle, Mike Safer pulling. He knocks his guy out of the way. You got to like, you know, Mark Weber, the offensive line coach for UCLA, Steve, when you have your tackle pulling, you run tackle trap. You got a big guy like Safer, 300 pounder coming down, honking on a linebacker about 200 pounds. You got, you got a little bit of a mismatch. But how about honking with Manuel White? And they will hammer Manuel White for just a yard, but Manuel, a big back at 6'3, 243. A little different than Deshaun Foster, but they say for his size, he has great foot quickness. And he is part of their fullback slash halfback rotation. They put him at full simply because they want him on the field as often as possible. Well, and, and Manuel White, Manuel White, a year ago, 63 rushes, 290 yards. Now, remember, Deshaun Foster, the great player he was, over a thousand yards last year. And White and Harris come in and kind of spell Foster from time to time, and they had to play at the end of the season. First down, waved by Mike Safer, the offensive tackle, and. Steve, you, you don't get as many carries as you'd like when you're playing a, behind a great back, but you learn from a great back. And Deshaun Foster, what the Carolina Panthers are learning is, I think he, I believe he's hurt right now, but they have a great back in Foster. He, he had such great vision up the field, and, and all great runners do, but Manuel Wright really starting to feel the running back position back there and seeing it from both positions, fullback and tailback. They will keep him in the game. He's right behind Corey Paws. Corey to throw. The catch is made. It was behind Craig Bragg, but he reached back and grabbed it and is up close to another Bruin first down. Rhett Nelson right there on top of Bragg to make the tackle. He almost made a play on the ball, too. The ball kind of hangs. Doesn't Look, at the ball does oh, not man. come out well at all. End over end. I, I wouldn't say that's much of a spiral. And Nelson right there drilling 
Craig Bragg. Bragg, sophomore out of San Jose, 6'1", 193 pounder. And he's a really controlled player, Steve. A year ago, his final game of the year when UCLA played Arizona State, seven catches, 138 yards, two touchdowns. Another first down for the Bruins. But that'll, that'll make your coach happy in the offseason. But I believe this guy even said he is playing with a sense of urgency, but he said, I'm not letting the sense of urgency overtake me and make me think I've got to throw for 300 yards each game. He says he's more focused than ever, but he can't make decisions like he made in the end zone that resulted in three points for Colorado State. Right. You have to, you, you know, you really have to make efficient decisions. We talked about it at the top of the show, 5 of 12, 60 yards, one INT, and that converted into three points for the Rams, but you, you got to remain error-free. Play like this has been a very efficient drive. Now he's going for the home run, and incomplete intended for Mike Seidman. Very good coverage by David Vickers, their outstanding strong safety, one of the best in the Mountain West Conference. And Steve, you talked about Vickers earlier. He had a great game a week ago against CU Bobs. He had 13 tackles, 12 of those were unassisted. But this is a guy who played middle linebacker two years ago and can run with any receiver on the field. Well, that's why I thought they'd go to Seidman, too, because David would start about 12 yards deep, and before the snap of the football, he'd be two yards from the football right next to the line of scrimmage. And, and we'll stay on 37 tonight. We'll keep a track on him because what he does so well, he drops down in, he becomes the eighth man in the box, and all of a sudden, if you're trying to run the football, and you're UCLA, or CU found out a week ago, it's awfully tough because you got unblocked guys eight in the box. You can't put hats on them. Now, Corey Paws is a senior, but he's working with a redshirt freshman at center and Mike McCloskey, who Bob Toledo feels has a great future, but again, a redshirt freshman. But when you're when you're surrounded by experienced players, Bo Lander has a ton of starts, Safer has a ton of starts at both tackles. I mean, you got guys who've been in the heat of battle. Third and ten. That was the fourth UCLA fumble of the game. They've lost one. Pause on the screen, set up nicely. Akeel Harris gets it past the 40-yard line. He'll still need about three for a first down. So decision time for Bob Toledo. Four and a half to play. Great. I think I think they're going to go for it here, Steve. That was so good in terms of recognition by the CSU defense. Again, the corner, Rhett Nelson, making a great play coming up from his cornerback position. Time out on the field, 423 left, Colorado State by six. Colorado State with a 13-7 lead on UCLA. College football Saturday presented by Keo Sara returns to Fox Sports Net next week when Tory Paws and the UCLA Bruins travel to Stillwater to take on Oklahoma State. That's a 7 o'clock game, and UCLA wants to clean stuff up. They're getting handled by Colorado State here tonight. They're down by six points at home at the Rose Bowl. Bradley Van Pelt almost has it picked off, and then it glides underneath a wide receiver near the 40-yard line and Chris Pittman. And Rams, you take a look at two drives by UCLA. 14-play drive, 59 yards, 445 off the clock. They missed. They had the field goal blocked. 12 play drive that went 79 yards, took six and a half minutes off the clock. They missed the field goal. So that's 11 minutes of two strong drives and no points. Well, and, and that hurts because, but give credit where credit is due. That CSU defense has been rocking the Bruins. They, they stop them when they have to. Cecil Sapp. First down past the 35-yard line, out to the 37, a 17-yard run by Sapp before Emmanuel made the tackle. And, and Steve, where Cecil Sapp is so good, he's able to get his pads north and south, get up the field, and then once he gets in open space, he can put some moves on right there, the great neutralizer, the option play, pitches it outside, no one touches until he's about 15 yards down the, down the field. 15 carries, 62 yards now for Cecil Sapp, who's been averaging over 125 yards in his first two games, and he rips for a few more past the 40, out to a 42-yard line, about a five-yard gain by Cecil Sapp. He had that great Liberty Bowl two years ago where he ran for 160. Here's that offensive line. They're going to push. 
push, push. They get great push, and it's just a zone, kind of an inside zone play. Then you hand the ball to your back. He just eyes the hole that is created by a bunch of guys busting their tails. Morgan Pears, the senior guard, doing a great job moving people up front. Boy, this is a well-oiled machine by Colorado State. Now back to the air. It is incomplete, I believe, trapped by Pittman. Are they calling that a catch? Oh, I thought it hit green. And our super, our super slow mo camera will break it down, but I believe they are. Sure enough, they're gonna whistle a first down. Matt Ware, UCLA free safety, down on the play. Nice. Well, they just showed it on the big screen, and everybody booed. Joe Hunter saying that has to be incomplete, but the linesman said, "Nope, it's a catch." And there's a Bruin down on the field, and it looks like it might be a cramp. Just the way they're stretching that left leg. That is Matt Ware, their talented free safety. Our Acura trivia: Who did Sonny Lubin replace as Colorado State's head coach? We'll give you the answer later in the game. I know there are a lot in Fort Collins who know that answer. But there are a lot around college football, and this is a national telecast who may be surprised to know the answer. But Sonny Lubick has seen nothing but success. When Lubick came to Colorado State in 93, the football program had enjoyed just six winning seasons. That's a very well the previous known, 20 years. It's a very well known college coach. How's that? Very For a well, hint. Exactly. For a hint. That's all we're going to tell you. That's the only Drew Olson, the young freshman, warming up, Steve. Do you go to him after pause? That's such a solid drive put together. Van Pelt lunging forward. And they have played air foot free football. Meantime, UCLA has thrown an interception. They have fumbled it four times, although they've held on to all four. Bradley Van Pelt, whose dad, Brad, played in the NFL for the New York Giants. He's here tonight. He was an All-American linebacker at Michigan State, and that's where Bradley wanted to play. His college football went there, and when they said, no, we want to make you a DB, he said, I'll try quarterback somewhere else and transfer to Colorado State. Van Pelt to the air, looking for Kupari. He was well covered, so Bradley overthrows him. You know, you got to take shots deep once in a while, and Steve, Brad Van Pelt, his strong suit is not throwing a deep ball. But I'll tell you, his backup, Justin Holland, redshirt freshman, can throw the deep ball. They wanted to work him in tonight, in tonight's game as well. And, you know, you get into these heats of battle, and, you know, when the game is six points, six-point game, there's a look at Justin Holland. You, you really don't want to make a move unless you're forced to. And maybe he does stick with pause right now, third and four for the Rams. Option. Sack. They stretch it out. He dives forward. This mark will be awfully important. But they might be in four down territory. And that's just a great play. Ricky Manning, the all-conference corner, Steve Cunt, came up and made a tremendous play on Cecil Sapp. And Ricky Manning may be the first Bruin since 1964 to be a three-time all Pac-10 performer. Ricky Manning, Marcus Reese. But let me name you the other guys who've been a three-time all-conference performer, Kenny Easley, Jerry Robinson, Gary Beeman, Terry Toomey, Von Parker, Manu Tuiasa Sopa. That's, that's some names there in Bruin history. Now fourth and one, sack, muscles forward. And let's see where the mark is. It's a first, it is down. A first down. You know what I like most about CSU just then? They did not hesitate at all. Bang, boom, okay, we missed it on third down. John Benton, Dan Hammerschmidt's got a play. They fire it up. They get in there. Who are they going to give? 32. Well, those guys were talking about giving it to Sapp enough where he would gain over 100 yards, and he's closing in on those numbers. And he said poise would be another key because he said UCLA's defense, they are so aggressive, they want you to play on your heels. And Colorado State has not played on their heels. Well, they are, they are aggressive, Steve, but right here again, they're able to run option. And option Van Pelt for the first down. Option is the great neutralizer right here. What they're able to do, the offensive line gets great push, but put the ball 
in this guy's hand right here. He's going to come down, and this time he keeps the ball, but look at what it does to the defense. They all take their pursuit angles. All of a sudden, you got a hat on the middle linebacker, and Van Pelt's right by the middle linebacker. Hey, Rams, isn't this what Rick Neuheisel did to UCLA last year because their defense was so aggressive, started wearing down the Huskies. They ran a little option and, and put them back on their heels. Well, yeah, I mean, Keith Gilbertson and, and, and Rick Neuheisel, all, all the guys at Washington understand. An interception. Van Pelt's first mistake of the game and the interception by Brandon Chiller. Now, what did that play remind you of? A play in the first half. By Corey Paws. By Corey Paws trying to do too much. You've got the three points, Rams. A three-pointer that would put you up by nine. And a mistake by Bradley Van Pelt that results in UCLA's football. system and off-road tracking. I told you this thing was awesome. The world's first 60-inch plasma HD TV from Zenith, an epic experience just four inches deep. From the high definition authority, Zenith. JB, Terry, and Howie welcome Jimmy Johnson back for a special reunion of the pregame team that started it all off. America's number one pregame show returns this weekend. Hey guys, let's not forget, man, this is the NFL show. And the NFL's hardcore, so we must stay hardcore. That's right. You know, Tommy, you've been out here the longest. You gotta make sure that, uh, you know, me and Michael don't get caught up in that Hollywood stuff, you know? You can count on me. But you guys fall off the wayside, just let me know, man. Mike, I think I'm gonna get the, uh, either the polish or the, or the clear. No, no, just, just get a nice buff. Hey, guys. How about a bikini wax next? Ooh. The NFL Show with Irvin, Syracuse, and Davidson premieres tonight and tomorrow. Big play by Brandon Chiller after UCLA stopped Colorado State. This big interception. And, and Steve, the pressure, Rusty Williams, big number 94, comes with a lot of heat. He's one of the captains for tonight. Ends up slamming Van Pelt down, but Brandon Chiller coming up with a big play. Did you see Kapari wide open in the end zone? That's what Van Pelt saw also. Yeah. Is he, man, look at him. He's a kid from Santa Barbara, California, is Steve. I mean, he is a surfer kid in there. Here's Drew Olsen in the game for UCLA, replacing Corey Pauls. And they run up the middle, and here's Akeel Harris for a first down. Well, that'll help the kid out, get him out of trouble. Now, this is a gutsy move by Bob Toledo. You're down six points, and you're bringing in a true freshman. Well, you did. You did a good thing. You're in and out. Corey Poss on the sideline. Wig Wigwagon plays. One of the things Bob Toledo wanted to create on this team is a sense of team. There is no quarterback controversy. Drew Olson is a true freshman, threw for a ton of completions, six over 6,000 yards and 60 touchdowns. But, Steve, you, you got to get this guy experience because he may be playing early, middle, or end of the season. You don't know. And one of the reasons why is because Corey Paws has been injured yes. a lot in his career. Yep. Hey, this week it's a doubleheader on Fox NFL Sunday with Randy Moss and the high-flying Vikings offense looking to get past Brian Erlocker and the hard-hitting Bears defense. Then Marshall Bong and the dangerous Rams offense take on Brian Greasy and the Broncos or other regional games. A doubleheader of action which begins with the NF Fox NFL pregame show this weekend only on Fox. Yeah, Troy Aikman, one of the great UCLA quarterbacks in Denver, calling that game for Fox. That'll be fun. Is he going to be dressed up in that eight-man outfit? That's right. We got just talking about his dude. There goes Olsen down, and he is sacked by Adam Way, the outside linebacker from here in Southern California. Went to Moreno Valley. 
Adam Wade in 2001, 11 game starter. He just comes off the edge, unblocked. Hello, welcome to college football, Drew Olson. Unblocked men come at you once in a while. Bullet speed, Wade, just a good player. He and Doug Heald kind of man that outside linebacker position. Well, it's a third and ten, and Kelly Skipper said we had four pass plays for him and four run plays. So he knows them well. And here's one of those four. Downfield and almost intercepted. Eric Pauly almost with his second pick in as many weeks. Eric Pauly just reading eyes right there. And Drew Olson locked on. And you got to look off. You got John Pierce over there, the quarterback coach, consoling him. <laughs> Boy, that's a big chance, though. 16 yeah. minutes to go down by six points against a very good football team that's already knocked off Virginia and Colorado. That's a bold move. Colorado State with a second week in a row. Game's final outcome was decided in the final drive. Here's where we've got to make a tackle. Dexter wins. Past the 40-yard line. The tackles made by Spencer Havner. Let's go back to that Acura trivia question. And the question was, who replaced Sonny Lubick as Colorado State's head coach? And the answer is Earl Bruce. And Earl had some pretty good success because they were a terrible program until Earl took over, and then Sonny took them to the next level. Yes, yeah, Sonny Lubick has done... Boy, he's done a good job. I just just listening to Chris Rose at halftime from the studio show, Steve. I mean, he said, "Man, I, there, there's not many better out there." The block in the back by the receiving team during the run back. That's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. And this will result in a penalty of about 25 yards because they had it at the 40-yard line. Now they've got it back to the 19, so 21 yards. But Sonny Lubick. I, I'm really surprised at his creativity, but remember, he was the defensive coordinator for Dennis Erickson, who's very creative, then at Miami with a national championship, now at Oregon State, and they're 2-0. and You know, you mentioned Dennis Erickson. I, I did a litmus test before the game. I'll tell you about it in a moment. Sap, short game. I'm talking, I'm talking to Matt Lubick, who was on Dennis Erickson's staff, and I asked him to compare his dad and Dennis, and I think I have all the respect in the world for both Dennis and Sonny Lubick as football coaches. You ask any coach in the Pac-10, who do you not want to face? Dennis Erickson's team. You ask a lot of teams on the national level, who do you not want to face? Sonny Lubick's team. Very similar. I asked Matt, I said, who's tougher? He goes, you know, they're, they're both really disciplined. <laughs> they're Tom. And, and I didn't put him on the spot. It's just, you know, he said, hey, they're, they're both really intense. I said, I know. Oh, UCLA's defense playing monster football right now. And pinning them back, Matthew Clark and Spencer Havner. But it, but it goes back to playing 60 minutes of football. And, you know, it's tough to motivate guys, right? Again, the option run by the Rams. Boy, that's, you know, that's just tough defense. But think about how tough your quarterback's got to be to just slam it up in there into a bunch of huge defenders and you're running head on with three guys. Look at Bradley Van Pelt. I mean, he's got that blonde hair going. He reminds me a lot of Ron Sunshine Bass from Remember the Titans. But this is a pass <laughs> that he'd like to get back. Remember this interception. Buffalo's love smoke sooner. Rivalries. Ain't college football great? Play NCAA football 2003. EA Sports. It's in the game. Rated E for everyone. Where are the cars we were promised? The dream cars. The problem-solving cars. Where are the cars that are more than just cars they're closer than you think cars with voice recognition cars with intelligent cruise control and a class-leading 340 horsepower engine 
the Q45 from Infinity. One company brings value to your life in more ways than you can imagine. Kiosera. With high performance components that power the technologies you can't live without. Kiosera. From sophisticated satellite communications to high reliability medical devices that make life worth living longer. Kiosera. One company makes components for all these things and more to improve our quality of life. One company. Kiosera. Size that Buffalo Burger. Uh, rivalries. Ain't college football great? Play NCAA Football 2003 EA Sports. It's in the game. Rated E for everyone. We start the fourth quarter. Colorado State holding a 13-7 lead on UCLA. Steve Fiziak along with Tom Ramsey. It's third down and seven for CSU. What kind of play can they call? Well, seven-yard play. You can actually run option here, Steve. They've been effective on third down thus far tonight. Four for 11. But right now, you have to create that run-pass option and keep Van Pelt and effective as a runner as well as a passer. Van Pelt will throw. Incomplete. Intended for Eric Hill. He was there, but so was Matthew Clark. Well, Matt Clark, the sophomore, really making a good play that time. Running stride for stride with Eric Hill. And watch the play he makes right at the end. He gets into the receiver a little early. No flag thrown, but. Boy, UCLA dodges a bullet here because Van Pelt put it out where he could run. Had a shot at it. Clark gets away with a grab on the arm. Eric Hill unable to come down with it, but the timing, boy, that was that was close. And now they must punt. And from the 35-yard line, tackled at the 41, it is Ebell. There is a flag down on the play. This may go against UCLA. It's in that area where it's usually holding. And I would imagine Bob Toledo will go back to his original quarterback, senior Corey Pauls. There's Gordon Reese. Yeah, you would think so. Against CSU. Yeah, Sonny Lubick out on the field. Saying he got blocked into him. I think it's interference with the punt catcher, Steve. Lubick, 10 yards out. He's teased to the numbers. Gordon Reese with that long conversation. <laughs> well, they make sure they get it right. It may take a little while. Violation of the two yard belt on a kicking team that's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down, UCLA. That, that is what is known as the halo rule. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It's Colorado State by six, 1442 left. UCLA down by six points and with 14 left in this game, they are staying with the true freshman from Piedmont High School, a four year starter there. Drew Olson, while the senior Corey Paws can only watch from the sideline. He called the timeout, burned one. Now they'll run the football. And this is Wendell Mathis again. And Mathis near a first down. He needed to get to the 41 yard line. This fall, get your NFL fix a day early with the most outrageous, unpredictable NFL pregame show you have ever seen. Introducing the NFL show on Fox Sports Net with Michael Irvin, Tony Siragusa, and comedian Tommy Davidson. Pregame shows may never be the same, so start your NFL weekend the night before kickoff with the NFL show presented by U.S. Postal Service, premiering next right here on Fox Sports Net. For those of you on the West Coast and Rocky Mountain regions, this follows your regional sports report. It is a first down as they stay on the ground with the young Wendell Mathis. Four wides for UCLA. And there is a whistle. Four they wides. Taking too much time. Four, right? four wides, a true freshman quarterback, an irate coach, and a delay of game. 
delay game. Offense, five yards, previous spot. He's still first down. In that particular order. Rams, as much as I respect Bob Toledo and the guts he has shown in the past, I am surprised. Steve, and I don't blame you for being surprised. I'm sure a lot of people are, but there's no better experience than taking snaps from center. He's getting Drew Olson some work on this drive. I think they're committed to keeping the run game going right now, put the onus on the offensive line, but now all of a sudden you take a penalty, you're going to have to throw the ball this series. Unless you get a big run on this play, they're going to throw it on first and 15. Olsen fires, incomplete. Tab Perry was open, the coverage came from Tufty, and there is a flag down. I'm not sure if they roughed Olsen. I believe it is going to be a late hit, Steve, and I believe Drew Olsen, he took a pounding, and I think it was... Might have been Pete Hogan. It's going to be roughing. Sonny doesn't like that when you've got a true freshman who's the quarterback. Watch the hit he takes. Ouch. Wow. Wallace Thomas, yeah. the defensive end. Hogan came over the top. Didn't, didn't hit him. Wallace Thomas was the one. Roughing the passer. Defense, 15 yards, previous spot. Automatic first down. Look, you, you know what? I tell you, what, what happens to a player on Sonny Lubick's team that commits a flagrant foul? They yank his tail off, and then they give an earful, and he's not playing now. Yeah, I saw him over there with defensive line coach Jesse Williams, and the conversation was not a pleasant one. But Colorado State, four penalties tonight. They had five total in the first two games this year. Now first and ten from the 30-yard line. Olsen to Wendell Mathis. And Mathis is cut down at the 28-yard line. That's a heck of a play by Steve Tufty, who's been playing a lot because of the injury to Rhett Nelson earlier. Tufty making a really nice play coming up. They're, they're just so disciplined defensively, Steve. They, what Larry Kerr says, they fit. They got to fit defensively to the formation. And what they do, they really take away blockers. And then Tufty right there would face, make an open field tackle. You got it. You got to hold your ground, stay on top of the guy, and make the hit. But they've had to make it go with two walk-on cornerbacks. Yes, Tufty is one. Master Polo is the other one with Red Nelson out. Manuel White in the backfield now in second and seven. Olsen under pressure. Delivers it to White. Manuel to the 20. Slams his way ahead for the first down. Well, nice save throw. UCLA is a very good screen team, Steve. A trademark of Bob Toledo's offense. Screening inside the red zone, or at least the plus territory. A really wise call because you're going to get a little more zone down here. You may even catch him in man. And sure enough, you catch him in the zone blitz. And Offensive line does a nice job seeking defenders out, putting some hats on people. Manuel White gets the first down. And he does just across the 20-yard line. He'll run it again. Not much there, and White is straightened up and knocked down by heel. Brian Save. There is Save, number 95, the junior from Santa Ana. He's all academic Mountain West Conference for Larry Kerr. He's the defensive coordinator to the left of the screen there. Sabe's doing a nice job, Steve, because they continue to stunt the front. They continue to slant, and then that allows the playmakers, the linebackers, to read and react and get to the football. Second and ten for true freshman Drew Olson. Completes the pass to the 10-yard line. Tam Perry first and goal to the five. Doesn't look like a, such a bad decision now. No. Nope. Even 14 in the game now, does it? And I'm not saying told you so, but I'm saying, look, there comes a time in the game when you have to get guys in the heat of fire. Right here, Drew Olsen stands tall, firm, three-step drop, hits, hits the Tab Perry. Again, big target. He's able to get up the field, get down inside the five, at the five-yard line, first and goal for the Bruins. Rams, I was not surprised that he replaced him. I was surprised after replacing him after Claus was five for six on one drive. Yeah, and Steve, you know, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a play right. right. To the two. They've got the veteran back in the game, Akeel Harris. They've run redshirt freshman Wendell Mathis tonight. Redshirt freshman Tyler E. Bell and sophomore White, but they want to keel out. Angles, in now. angles, right? Angles is everything. You end up 
if you over pursue right there, Drew Wood ran outside. He's taken away the outside run, but no one was there to cover the cutback lane, and Harris doing a nice job getting up the field. Now they're going with that heavy load, double tight end, Mercedes Lewis, the H back on the left side. Give it to Akil Harris, he muscles his way in for the touchdown! Mercedes Lewis, Steve, the true freshman, you mentioned him being in the game. He lined up as a wing and had the key block that time for Akeel Harris. Just a really nice job by UCLA's offensive line and tight ends at the point of attack. Now the point after touchdown by Chris Griffith. An impressive drive led by true freshman Drew Olson because they did it without Corey Paws. It's Akeel Harris on a two-yard touchdown run for the UCLA lead. One company brings new value to the way we communicate. Thank you, Sarah. With smartphone technology that adds color to the wireless world. Thank you, Sarah. Fiber optic components that drive broadband internet service. Thank you, and copiers that scan direct to email for instant communication around the globe. Here, Sarah. One company does all these things and more to keep you in touch with your world. One company. Kia Sarah. Mommy, try one time. Mommy, come. Oh, no. Come, hold my hand and come. One time. With a little expert advice from us. This working mom is protecting three generations of people she loves. All through a benefits plan at work. and counting. The 210 horsepower supercharged Nissan Xterra. Akil Harris with his first touchdown of the year giving UCLA their first lead of the game race. Pretty impressive Steve right here I formation lead fullback on linebacker linebacker gets the best of that but Akil Harris had so much steam built up didn't have far to go the Nissan scoring drive UCLA eight plays 52 yards 450 off the clock important there although remember remember Drew Olson burned a timeout may come back needed. it's Dexter Wynn who thought about it for a moment and then came and out and brings it out across the 20 yard line to the 25 and Dexter is down in in some pain remember they've already lost one DB and Rhett Nelson to an injury and now Dexter win well he got one where it really hurts even with a cup how about Drew Olson how about it sitting next to Akeel Harris there he had a heck of a throw to Tab Perry to get that first and goal to the five and then Akeel Harris laid the wood on Drew Wood nice drive that's big that's big for a young freshman quarterback's development very big Bradley Van Pelt pushes his way to the 29 yard line right now UCLA has the lead 14 to 13 over Colorado State but remember last week against the number six team in the nation the Colorado Buffaloes Colorado State trailed 14 to 13 in the fourth quarter and that man got him that late touchdown yes they did and Steve they put a drive together in the fourth quarter Bradley Van Pelt this is where he's at his best fourth quarter he understands He's a, he's a gamesman. He understands what they need to get done on this drive right now. They're strong to the right side. They'll send the screen that way, and wow! Sapp is blown away. He fumbles the football. 
Will they rule it a catch? Ricky Manning just ripped apart Cecil Sapp. You know, you know, Steve, what no referees made the call. Oh my goodness. You know, a referee never made the call. Do you understand that the call just happened right now? The CSU offense is on the field to play. Yeah, uh, it was a catch and a fumble. That, that's a that's a sledgehammer hit right there. That's a deep cleater. That's why Ricky Manning's an All-American. Oh, well, Ricky Manning is as good as you get at corner in the country. And right there, he showed why he is deserving of all the accolades on the field. He came up and just planted a helmet between the three and the two on, on a pretty large man, Cecil Sapp. And, dislodge the ball. He shows you you don't have to be big to make big plays. 5'9", 181. Corey Paul's in the game now. Manuel right to the 10, to the 5. White dives. Is he in? Touchdown. That's great effort. Ricky Manning still getting Hugs over on the sideline. Manuel White, Steve, really showed a great effort. Lunging ahead for the score. He's a big load, too, now. 6'3", 243. Sophomore. Chris Griffith on again. And the Bruins go up by eight, 21-13, 8.48 left to play. Hello? Hello, Westside Cable. I'm here for the install. Hmm, I'm at your front door, sir. I'll tell you what, we'll meet you back there sometime between, uh, 12 and 5. Always wanted to say that. The more powerful Acura RL. One company values the environment. Yes, Sarah. By creating solar panels that convert sunlight into a clean source of energy. Yes, Sarah. Ceramic components that make our engines run cleaner. Yes, Sarah. And the most earth friendly copiers and printers on the planet. Yes, one company does all these things and more to improve our quality of life. One company. Kyocera. Here is the kickoff by UCLA as the Bruins have taken an eight-point lead. Well, the hammer came from Ricky Manning, a 5'9", 181-pound cornerback, and then that guy drove it in from 16 yards out. And, and Steve, right when Cecil Sapp caught the ball, Ricky Manning right there to deliver the punch. And then Manuel White turns a nice short gain into a long great play with a leap into the end zone and got the crowd really excited. A crowd of nearly 60,000 here at the Rose Bowl. And now it's the Bruins in front by eight points. And Colorado State must come back. There's that Ed Kazarian pal swinging around. Now we'll find out if Bradley Van Pelt can do it through the air. They have plenty of time. They need a touchdown two-point conversion to tie it. And they'll give it to Rashawn Sanders who moved from running back to defensive back and now back to running back. He's a guy who has a great history here. Almost a thousand yards rushing in his career. Steve, keep an eye. Keep an eye on the guys coming up making plays. Marcus Reese, Matt Ware, all of a sudden, talking about filling the gap, number 17. There's the other great player, John Jackson, talked about in the open. Manning and Ware, two playmakers for UCLA, and Ware doing a great job of Manning just eyeing it and looking in, waiting to make another play. He wants him to throw towards his side. And here he comes again, ripping his receiver down. It was on Ray Childs, the 6'2", 217-pound senior, and Manning just came flying out of nowhere to bring down the much bigger Childs. I just want, you know, if people don't understand how hard it is to play cornerback in Division 1A football, I mean, it's a lonely position, number one. You have to have a short memory, number two. But you got to be tough as nails, and you got to be able to run with the wind. So now, add all that up, what do you get? Number nine. 
Ricky Manning. Number five on the other side, Dexter Wynn's a pretty good player, too, now. They might pick the other side to go after. They'll run the option. Bradley Van Pelt out near the 30-yard line. He needed to get to the 30 for a first down. And, Steve, they're awfully close. They may call for a measurement. Oh, they, Gordon Reese signals a first down. So first down for Colorado State. That's a great play by Bradley Van Pelt, yeah. knowing how much yardage he needed to get for the first down, knowing how much time is on the clock, and knowing that they've got to score and get a two-point conversion. And Phil Snow said, we haven't seen these many quarterbacks, these kinds of quarterbacks in the Pac-10 Conference. You've got to go back to Marcus Tiasasoka, Keith Smith at Arizona. They had to go back and look at films of the way they defended those guys because Bradley Van Pelt loves to run and run that option with Sean Sanders. And Sanders gets about three yards. This ball, get your NFL fix a day earlier. It's the Vikings and Bears, the Eagles and the Titans, the Lions and the Dolphins. Those are your options tomorrow on Fox. It's a great doubleheader. Rams and Broncos, Seahawks Raiders. Others will see the Saints and the Bucks. Bradley Van Pelt the 40-yard line. I believe he's got another first down. Great running again. And remember, the option, you talked about Keith Smith, former Arizona quarterback. You talked about Marcus Tuiasasoko, former Washington great quarterback. Both of those quarterbacks could run option, run it effectively, and what it, what it allows the offense to do. You stretch the field, sideline to sideline, you still have a threat of a pass, because what CSU has not shown, Steve, and I expect them to show it this drive, come down the line, fake option, step back, throw a pass, because you know what? You've brought people in close now looking for options. They're then expecting to run. UCLA has run for 167, really run well in the second half, and they will slam down the running back with Sean Sanders. No, it's Cecil Sapp back in the game. They had Sapp out for a while. Sanders was in, and now Cecil is back in there after taking that punishing hit by Ricky Manning that forced the fumble that resulted in the Manuel White touchdown. And Steve, UCLA under Bob Toledo, I, I'll tell you, they, they're tough at home in home openers. They've beaten Tennessee, they've beaten Miami, they've beaten Texas, Boise State, and Alabama in 2000. Remember, they went down to Alabama last year in their opening game and played air-free football and came away with a win. But as Mike Bellotti would tell you, the games they remember are played in November. And UCLA really struggled last year in the month of November and really the last three seasons. I mean, in 1999, they lost three of their last four. 2000, they lost the last three, including the Sun Bowl, and last year, four of their last five. Now, remember, though, Remember winning 20 straight? Well, that was the 1998 and season. Then they go to Miami, lose, and they exactly, lose the Rose Bowl. Exactly. But, but when you win 20 straight, and I and I kidded with Bob today when I met with him, I said, Bob, you set the, the, the bar so high, you couldn't do much else but 39. you got to stop him here. Van Pelt scrambling. Being chased by Hagner, and Hagner Great runs him out of bounds, but that was a remarkable run by Bradley Van Pelt. And he got the first down. That is a superb play, and Phil Snow is hot. But I'll tell you what, he's saying, can't you catch him? Hit him. Find a pursuit, find some pursuit angles, but look at Van Pelt. This is how dangerous he is, Steve. He's able to break free of the pocket. Great escapability. Hagner just, I push him out of bounds if you're Marcus Reeves, and I think that's what Phil Snow was saying, hey, you had a shot at him. Get him out, but he's hard. This guy's hard to corral now. He won last week on an option. He's down by eight. I want to see the option pass. Cecil Sapp, a gain of just two. This fall, get your NFL fix a day earlier with the most outrageous, unpredictable NFL pregame show you have ever seen. Introducing the NFL show on Fox Sports Net with Michael Irvin, Tony Siragusa, and comedian Tommy Davidson. Pregame shows may never be the same, so start your NFL weekend the night before kickoff with the NFL show presented by the U.S. Postal Service, premiering next right here on Fox Sports Net for those of you on the West Coast 
in Rocky Mountain regions. This follows your regional sports report. I wonder what the pregame meal is going to be for Sarah Goosen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big hefty one. Here they go, running the reverse. Chris Pittman, 45, 40, and a first down for Pittman. Okay, I love the call here. John Benton, Dan Hammersmith, the co-offensive coordinator, Steve. This is as good as a pass off the option. Guess what it is? It's a reverse off the option. Here comes Pittman, one of their fast playmakers. This is a great move right here. Cut it back in to the core of the field and is able to pick up some extra yards. Give them a nice field position here inside the 40, and they just have to be patient right now and keep it moving. Van Pelt is tough to defend. They run sap, and he breaks free and sap past the 20 to the 15-yard line. Matt Ware was able to bring him down. Matt Ware hurt himself bringing down Cecil Sapp. Boy, how good is this? Ground level, little trap. Look at Cecil Sapp. He just punches his way through the line, Steve. And then Matt Ware's going to just grab him by the toe. And I think Ware caught a heel in the chest. That's great movement here. Block, kick out. All of a sudden, Cecil Sapp finds a little bit of air. He's off. Matt Ware gets tangled up, but Cecil Sapp, boy, that, that's fighting for yards right there. And they are checking on their outstanding sophomore safety from Malibu, Matt Ware, who came up injured on a touchdown saving tackle. And Cecil Sapp ripped through all the way down to the 14 yard line. Sapp has gone over 100. 22 carries, 101 yards. And not a guy you want to Checking lose. the ribs, it looks like, of Matt Ware. Well, you know more about football when they stretch your leg. I'm not sure what happened. Cecil Sapp, I know this, Steve. If I was going to tackle him, I'd actually ask you to help me. Okay. Because <laughs> I, do, I don't want to do it alone. They're taking that right leg. It seems like he really got shot in the abdomen the way he landed. And now he is to his feet. And Ware walking off. Van Pelt, though, so difficult to defend simply, as you said, because he can run so well. And last week he beat Colorado on a 23-yard run. Let's go back to last Saturday. Bradley Van Pelt against the Colorado Buffaloes. Here's the game-winning touchdown. Right, 23-yard run. Does a nice job cutting back, gets a gray, and then he puts a little exclamation point on the score with a, with a little spike on the mug of the DB and CU. Can he do it one more week? remaining in this football game. UCLA by eight. Kevin Long Brandt drive. Kevin Brandt comes in for the injured Matt Ware. Right now, those safeties got to make some tackles. There's the option. And there goes Van Pelt, four yards to the 10-yard line. Rod, it neutralizes the defense, just like you're talking about, Rams. Steve, it, it's just you can't account you know, you can account for everyone but the quarterback running the football because now you get an extra blocker involved and you still have the threat of a pitch. Matt Ware, their best safety right now on the sideline. And look at his eyes. Doesn't he look like Mike Singletary, that old Chicago Bear? Those are the eyes of a linebacker, not a quarterback. I'm telling you, he is Ron Sunshine Bass from Remember the Titans. <laughs> He'll remember this moment. Two and a half left. Sap. Out of bounds. Near the first down marker. Needed to get to the four-yard line. It looks like he'll be shy. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Steve, what I like about Van Pelt coming down the line that time, running option, early recognition, pitch the ball, get it out to 32, and Sap is able to get as much as he can 
keeping an eye on the clock, getting out of bounds. I mean, th these guys play smart football. Some of these Lubitsch teams are, it, 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 these guys are smart, disciplined football players. Love it. Now third and three, will we see option again? They're gonna run sack, and sack is stopped. Wow, you know, I would run option, yes. Because all of a sudden you run into the strength of UCLA's defense right up the middle of the field. I mean, you're asking a lot. Rodney Leslie really stepping up that time, number 77, defensive tackle. You see the timeouts remaining. Colorado State has all three. UCLA burned one at the opening moments of the fourth quarter. You're right, Leslie goes 3-12, and Steve Morgan goes 3-0-3. You're running right at those big, big guys. And you got Marcus Reese. Just plan on this. Plan on Bradley Van Pelt hanging on the football and trying to get the necessary yardage. Ball game right here. Fourth and three. Shotgun. Option. Van Pelt. First down and touchdown. Okay, now you got two points. You're not going to get excited. You got to remain patient. You have a plan for the game winner or the game tire, I should say, in this instance. You have a two-point play. They'll take a timeout. I believe in discussions. This is a option again, Steve, but what it is, Dreesen, it, it may have been a shovel pass, run pass. And what Van Pelt did, he saw a little break in the action, saw a little bit of air and space in front of him. He took full advantage and the score. Thank you very much. College Football Saturday on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Kiyosera, one company, countless solutions. By MetLife, have you met life today? And by Nissan, and your Nissan dealer. The City of Angels has seen a heck of a show here in Pasadena. Bradley Van Pelt, a courageous kid, fearless. Yeah, and that's how Sonny Lubick described his team as such. They really embody what Bradley Van Pelt's about. Competitive fire, great spirit, great football lineage. And as Sonny said, his teammates love him. Oh, yeah. How, how don't you love the guy? I mean, he, he's impressive. Flat out plays. Look at flat it. out. Flat stains out. stains all over. Dirt, blood running down his elbow. Flat out, flat out, pedal to the metal the whole time. Start to finish. Does not take a playoff. He got nailed on the left corner oh. against Virginia and came back and played in that game. Oh, his shoulder. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, he told me, he said, hey, Rams, I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> the game, yeah, I'm pretty yoked up. I, that didn't hurt too bad. I'm like, yeah, okay. All Look right. at those eyes. I'll see you in the weight room. He needs two points to tie this game with a minute and a half left. I'll be over there doing cardio. <laughs> Here we go. I say run pass option again. Let him control it. They're covering that left side. Now they'll change up from shotgun and go underneath the center. Option right. Van Pelt. No! He throws the football away. It's picked up by UCLA. And they can score on this. Ben Emanuel can put this game in the deep freeze right here. Sap chasing. Emanuel will score the two for the Bruins. You can never, you can never fault the effort never fault the effort of what Brad Van Pelt tried to do here. It was ball game. Well, there's, you know, they shut off the, they shut off the lane. He tried the Kenny Stabler to Dave Casper. <laughs> they, they shut off UCLA's defense up front. Watch him. He's going to try to run option right here. They stymie. They stymie him right there. Havner, Morgan, <laughs> and Van Pelt did the one thing he tried to do, just tried to flip it out to Cecil Sapp, and Ben Emanuel makes a play because you can't. The defense can score on any extra point try, whether it be a kick or a two-point conversion. They took it the length of the field, and that's a two-point. That's a that's a two-point move, two-point takedown for UCLA. But what is interesting, a minute 32 left, Van Pelt knows that his Colorado State football team has played marvelous 
special teams. Unquestioned. That is so good at that, you know, is going to have a well diagram onside kick. <laughs> exactly. This fall, get your NFL fix a day earlier with the most outrageous, unpredictable NFL pregame show you have ever seen with Michael Irvin, Tony Siragusa, and comedian Tommy Davids. The pregame shows may never be the same, so start your NFL weekend the night before kickoff with the NFL show presented by the U.S. Postal Service. For those of you on the West Coast and Rocky Mountain regions, this follows your regional sports report. Okay, here it is, Steve. And, and so many times you're going to try to get the ball from here to here. It's got to go the necessary 10 yards. Half pop. It bounces high. Picked off by UCLA. And the Bruins have it at the 48-yard line. They had the good hands through there. And Mike Seidman at 6'5", reached up and pulled it down like a rebound in basketball. And Seidman's a tough guy to get the ball away from. And that, that was a really good onside kick by Jeff Babcock. The ball hung in the air for quite some time, went the necessary distance, but Seidman, as you said, Steve, he, he goes 6'5". He's able to get up and make a play. And keep an eye on Seidman. He's right here. Ball comes at him. He, he stays with it. Watch it go in the air, though. Wow. It's good to have your tallest player right there on the hands team. Andy's a tight end with good hands. So Corey Paws will try and run it out. He will run that football to Akia Harris. Akia is past the 40-yard line, breaking free at the 30, and Akia Harris out of bounds inside the 10. All of a sudden, UCLA just exploding in the fourth quarter. You know, as much as... As much as CSU tonight has shown absolute great effort, credit that UCLA offensive line for staying after it as well because what they've been able to do in this quarter of football is allow their running backs a lot of room to run. They've stayed strong at the point of attack, hard-nosed football, and our EA Sports player of the game is going to be a Akeel Harris. He scored the go-ahead. rushing. They marked him out, though, at the 17, not at the 7. Yep. They say he... Touch that sideline of the 17. And now they will run Wendell Mathis, whose job is to hold on to that football. Well, the executive producer of College Football Saturday is Bill Borson. The coordinating producers are Roy Hamilton and Gary Garcia. Today's game was produced by Dennis Kirkpatrick and directed by Doug Freeman. The College Football Saturday studio show was produced by Loy Maxson and directed by Joe Woitis. Senior Vice President of Field Operations is Andrea Berry. Director of Field Operations is Debbie Kilmartin. And great work by our entire crew tonight at Fox Sports Net. These guys in Los Angeles, and I work with them in baseball, football, and basketball. They had, are the best. Had the A team tonight, and we had the A game tonight, too. Matt Lubick over there talking to they have a Fox Bradley Sports Van Net Pelt. Today. Game before us, Oregon and Fresno oh, State. Great game. battle. Great games up and down. Oregon won that contest 28 to 24 in the fourth quarter final moment. Keel Harris smiling and why not what a comeback by the Bruins and what a courageous comeback by that young man Bradley Van Pelt. Oh, I tell you, you know what he'll be he'll be sitting in that locker room and I'm telling you Bradley you can say to yourself I did everything I could to help my team try and win. Yeah, I mean, he, he wears it on the sleeve, man. That's awesome. That, that is. You love the guys who love the game, and I, I have to take my hat off to Bob Toledo. He showed some courage in the fourth quarter, running out two freshmen. I was surprised, and Bob Toledo saw his two freshmen, Drew Olsen, lead them right down the field for the game. But, 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 think touchdown. but, but think about it. They played a lot of true freshmen tonight. Drew Olson was one of them. The fullback on that go ahead touchdown play was J.D. Groves, true freshman fullback. They had a true freshman that scored a touchdown tonight on a reverse, Junior Taylor. I mean, the, these guys, redshirt freshman, Wendell Mathis, I mean, number 21, they got some guy. they got some young guys, Steve. And then we're. There is Corey Paws with Bob Toledo. Then Boss came in. He made one handoff. Yeah. And Emmanuel White ripped for 16. And yeah. uh, real. It was a perfect handoff, though. And here's a guy who had a rough first half. Yeah. And uh, Corey, Corey Paws' credit 
He had a miserable first half, yep. and then came out first drive, goes five for six, puts him in yep. field goal range. Yeah, they, they, they stayed after. They, they stayed to the plan. I thought both teams tonight did a wonderful job with their halftime adjustments because mm -hmm. we, we saw a first half struggle a little bit, each team not putting up a lot of total yards, but boy, in the second half, they made the necessary adjustments. They were able to play tough, hard-nosed football, and, and it's not over yet. 109 left and a third down, 10 yards to go situation for the Bruins. We'll put it in the deep freeze. Man Manuel, Manuel White's like a, he's like a freight train. He's like Cecil Sapp getting on track. That guy, he, he gets a little, he gets a little air, a little open space. He's off. Wow. And he's not easy to bring down either. Man. 217 yards rushing by UCLA. We talked about the first half, the 49-yard run by Junior Taylor, but they are just slamming it at Colorado State in the second half. And Bob Toledo's Bruins are going to win this game. One company brings new value to the way we communicate. Here, Sarah. With smartphone technology that adds color to the wireless world. Here, Sarah. Fiber optic components that drive broadband internet service. Here, and copiers that scan direct to email for instant communication around the globe. Here, Sarah. One company does all these things and more to keep you in touch with your world. One company. Kyocera. Mayfair strange in the morning light. Mayfair strange in a summer night. Mayfair strangest in the afternoon. Yesterday, one of our advisors showed this woman how even if her brother outlives her, she can always be there for him. <laughs> one oh one remaining in this football game. UCLA just scoring the touchdown to take an 11-point lead. With a minute and a half remaining, Colorado State had a chance to tie it, and all of a sudden, it is broken free and there's Bradley Van Pelt talking with his offense. He has played a very courageous football game 13 of 26 to the air. That doesn't show what he did on the ground and also with his heart. Well, the one INT did prove costly. They were heading in and, and he tried to just do too much and you know, tables turned on him but I tell you he put together a 4-4 comeback as, as good as anyone has done a recent against UCLA, really. And we're seeing the skill by UCLA's defense. Their pass defense was yeah. great last year. It looks yeah. very good tonight with guys like Manning and Matt Ware that John Jackson talked about in our open. They have been like A+. Plus. Yeah, th their entire defense, Steve, not only pass defense, their entire defense led by that man, Phil Snow. Phil really gets teams to play hard, and, and he's a respected co coach across the country. Bob Toledo went out and hired him last year from Arizona State, knowing that he was going to get a very aggressive pass rush for down linemen, bringing the heat every time. Did a great job with Bruce Snyder at Arizona State for years, helping them to great success. And there is Phil. Now, there's a guy with a lot of emotion. Yeah, I was telling Phil, we were talking before the game, and... Uh, we start talking about everyone we knew, and, and he, I said, you know, Phil, I said, normal society, six degrees separation. I said, football, two degrees separation. He goes, yeah, no kidding. Because <laughs> he could name 100 guys I know, I could name 100 guys he knows, and they're probably not the same 100. Now third and 10. Van Pelt airing it out. And it's broken up again by UCLA. And that's what Phil was talking about. What could make UCLA's defense terrific? He said, if our corners cover, 
and our safety's tackle, tackle will be a very good defense. He didn't even talk about his line or linebackers. He knew they would do the job, but he really thought the DBs were the key. Well, and he uses the same vernacular as Larry Kurt. You got to fit. You got to defensive minded. You got to fit. Defense got to fit right in there. You gap fit. integrity. That's right. You got to you fit in there. You got to fit that gap. You got to keep your leverage. Gap in there's Larry Kerr, defensive coordinator. I love talking to defenders. Defensive coordinators, they always want to beat them up. <laughs> Just beat them up. Now with 41 seconds left, it's incomplete. The Pac-10 doing quite well today. Washington State beating Idaho 49-14. Oregon, a tremendous come from behind victory in Eugene, 28-24 over Fresno State. Washington top San Jose State, 34-10. Oregon State's 2-0. Stanford did lose. As Boston College beat them 34-27. For most of you following the game is the NFL show season debut. For those of you in the West Coast, Rocky Mountain regions, the NFL show follows your regional sports report. That's one of those just stick with us. We've got great programming well, all the way around. You like football? Stay here. You love football? Better yet, stay here. <laughs> What a game. It was a terrific game with a minute and a half left. That man setting Lubick was staring Boy. in the face of tying the game, but UCLA turned them back. Now remember, they got 13 games on their schedule this year. A lot of football to be played. No question in the tough Mountain West Conference. There's Bob Toledo congratulating Sonny Lubick as this was a well played hard fought football game really was really was great respect for each club shaking hands and that was a heck of a game once again our final score UCLA 30 Colorado State 19.